hi guys what is up hi guys it is monday and i very randomly i woke up i looked at my desk and i saw a copy of this book and i very randomly decided that i am going to start reading it so i am reading the lord of the rings by jrr tolkien and you are coming along with me i don't know how long this is going to take me whether it's going to take this week or it's going to stretch out over the next few weeks just so 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 excited to read this if you're new here hi my name is ritwik thank you so much for clicking on this video and if you're not new here thank you so much for coming back i love you so let's talk a little bit about my lord of the rings tolkien verse knowledge my entry into the middle earth was with watching the hobbit trilogy movies and i absolutely fell in love with it i just found it just so 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 exciting so full of adrenaline it was like one of like the pure fantasy movies out there pure fantasy stories out there so i watched it and then i watched the lord of the rings trilogy movie i absolutely love that as well so i have like a basic idea as to what the plot of it is but i have kind of forgotten what the what this series is about i did all of it last year and then this year i started off my reading for 2024 by picking up the hobbit this book this tiny little book was my first read of the year and i absolutely loved it honestly i preferred the movies over the book because the movies have like a lot more going on like the whole Azog storyline and the movies just like you get to see the world come to life. The book is the source material so obviously it's going to be great. It's just that my preference was for the movies so I am very excited to now finally step into this mammoth of a book. I have this gorgeous edition black and the inscription is red color and it is the same inscription that is on the ring in the Lord of the Rings. This entire volume is 1178, 1178 pages long including the appendices and the introduction, the prologue and just like the foreword and whatnot. There is a lot of stuff happening over here. I'm not just going to be reading it physically. I really love this combo which I do where I listen to the audiobook as well as I read it it helps me to finish the book a lot faster but for fantasy books what I feel is if the narration is done right the audiobook ex experience is a lot better but it just feels like the story is being brought to life in your ears I did the same for The Hobbit as well I listened to The Hobbit audiobook which was narrated by Andy Serkis and I'm doing the same for this series. So we are going to start off with The Fellowship of the Ring by J.R.R. Tolkien. I'm listening to an audiobook copy on Storytel by Andy Serkis. It's just going to be a great few days or <coughs> or weeks depending on how long it takes me. I am so 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 extremely excited for this. Okay so I am going to start reading and I will catch you guys with a little update somewhere around like page 50, page 70 or when I feel like giving you an update because I am just planning to completely sink myself into the story and just like get a out of body experience. page number 33 so so far i've read the foreword the second foreword the prologue and i'm currently on chapter one of book one the main thing is like it is so in detail it is just so rich in the creation of it 33 pages in and i've already learned so much about the middle earth and it is so vivid and it is just so rich and I'm absolutely loving it. I'm loving the writing style. The storytelling is just so well done. It's like I am back in Middle Earth and it's been almost a year, more than a year since I uh, watched the movies but I can like call back scenes as to how everything is looking like how Bilbo's birthday party was looking or how he disappeared completely and just I can like clearly visualize it in my mind and it is just so 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 fun I've not read a fantasy book in a while like in a while and like I did read The Hobbit but it's literally the same book so I'm counting The Hobbit as a part of this I just like completely miss picturing just so vivid and just so otherworldly landscapes in my mind I just know like the next 
next few days or like the next few weeks are gonna be absolutely fun. I could easily listen to the audiobook while I'm on my way to my class because that is where I'm heading right now but I don't think so I am going to because having the book on hand really helps with the spellings and understanding how certain words are written and it just helps in making better sense of everything that is going on so I'm going to switch over to a different book or maybe I'll just like listen to some music on my way to the class. I don't know if I want to make this vlog as like a spoiler vlog but because I know a lot of you guys have not read this and I'm just so excited to experience this and then hopefully influence you guys to experience this. Hi, it is, it is literally 11.26. I am going to get back to reading The Lord of the Rings. I told you guys that I was not going to read the audiobook while I was going to and fro from my class but that did not happen. I started listening to it. I reduced the speed a little bit because I was not, I did not have like anything physical to go along. So I reduced the speed of the audiobook to like 2.0x so that it's, it's like twice the narration speed and I was so sucked in into the book like currently I am on chapter 3 where Frodo has set out for the journey and the first encounter with the Rick Wraith has happened. I think so I'm not gonna read from the book like because I'm gonna be sleeping lying down and I don't wanna like get my wrist injured I'm sorry I am not Ananas can read she has like a killer wrist she's like one of my favorite bookstagrammers and she's also like a friend on bookstagram what I did is I got like ebooks on my phone. I'm gonna read on my phone because it's much lighter and it's much easier to read on my phone. I'm 21% in in the book right now and this is flying by so fucking fast like I did not expect it to fly by this quickly. I, I thought I would take like at least one and a half week for this series to flow by. I thought I would take it slow but but no I am nothing if not an obsessive reader so it's Monday. I think so I'm gonna be done by Thursday. I need to edit the videos which are supposed to go live on Wednesday and Saturday. I have to film the video which is supposed to go live on Wednesday so I have a lot of work to do tomorrow. So right now I'm on 21% so I think so I'll get to like about 30 maybe 40% tonight and then tomorrow I'll start at night. I don't wanna like read the entire day. I want to work and get shit done. I am just so much in love with this. This is like the perfect fantasy book. It's uh, it is so magical. It's not like magic magical but it is so fantastical fantasy magical. I'm having so much fun. I'm so glad that I acted on my impulse to read this today. Otherwise I would have like prolonged this experience for no reason. Okay I'm gonna put this aside and I'm gonna get back on my phone and finish as much as I can. I have just been doing all of my chores and all of my errands and stuff and I have been listening to the audiobook non-stop like I woke up and I started listening to it and I started reading immediately I'm about 40% the way through and I think so it's gonna take me like a few rereads before I understand each and every single detail and I remember every single detail because the story is just so in detail so vivid there are so many characters I'm just focusing on the main characters and just like main plot points because if I go in and try to pay attention it will take out the fun for me because if I'm to stop and make sense of oh yeah I should remember this I should remember that and stuff like that it will like slow me down and it will like take me out of the immersiveness that I'm experiencing right now so I think so it's gonna take me like at least two to three more rereads before I remember and I understand every single plot detail and every single like small little thing that has been written. I'm okay with it like I'm sufficiently okay with it right now I just want to experience the whole grandiosity and just like the whole magical aspect of the plot. I don't really know if I can explain the plot well because it's sort of difficult. I am currently on chapter 9 and the first book is divided into two books so the first is The Fellowship of the Ring which is divided into book one and book two. My goal is to finish book one today right now in this stretch which I'm listening and then I want to take a little break. I want to film a few reels. I want to film a few reviews. Then in the evening I'm going to finish up book two because there's just no way I can contain myself in terms of how much time I see on the 
audiobook app. I have seven hours, four minutes to finish up the first audiobook. I'm listening at 2.0 speed and when I sit down, I will obviously bump it up to at least like 2.5x. I'm trying to not speed it up a lot more because even though I can't understand what I'm reading, what I'm listening at 3.0x speed, it just moves by very fast and you don't get that immersiveness. So I'm stopping myself at 2.5x. So yeah, in terms of plot, we are now at the Prancing Pony Inn and we are about to meet a new main character. So far we have five main characters. So sorry, six main characters. We have Frodo, Bilbo, Gandalf, Sam, Pippin and Merry. We have yet to meet all of them. And I don't think so we are going to get their perspective that well because the book is very much following B Frodo and their team like where, where they're going. I don't know how it's going to play out when there are multiple main characters and there are multiple storylines going on all at once. I'm like lo really looking forward to see how that is going to play out because the movies like capture it so well and I am really, really, really excited. Uh, evening now, it is 5.30 and I had just got done with book one about like half an hour ago and I am just having so much fun. I, li I literally will because I, I know I will. I'm gonna like ignore every single thing that I need to do and finish this book because it is very, very, very captivating. The party has just gotten to Rivendell and now um, they're gonna have like a council of everybody and the fellowship is going to be created very soon. I know this because of the movies and I'm just so excited to see the rest of the characters of the party. I'm making some iced tea with some hibiscus moringa tea that I have. This should be good, right? Hi guys, it is now Wednesday and yesterday I did not get that much reading done. I wanted to finish book one like I wanted to finish the fellowship of the ring So book one and book two in short, but I just got to like the second chapter of book two I thought that I would get by the book very very fast But it is going to take a lot longer than what I expected which honestly it's a good thing because I did not want to finish the book very very quickly because if I read a fantasy book very quickly, I get like a very intense hangover and that I enter into a reading slump. So it's actually much better that I'm just getting like about 100, 150, so maybe even like 200 pages in at a day. I don't think so I'll be able to read any other book in between, but I'm going to try. Any comments? Okay, so it is time for an update. It is many, many, many 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 days later i don't remember the last time i gave you an update on this big boy i think so it was wednesday but i can't be sure i am currently on page 697 which is honestly like a quite a bit of a jump since i've last updated you so let me give you guys a brief rundown of everything that has happened and everything that i have read so far but before all of that i don't think so i gave you guys any idea as to how the story is set up so this is the entire series all three books in one and each book is divided into two books so the part one the fellowship of the ring it has books one and two the part two the two towers it has books three and four and the part three, The Return of the King, has books five and six. So I finished part one, I think so, on Thursday? I think so, I think so, on Thursday. I don't remember very well. I also finished book three. I'm halfway through The Two Towers, and I'm currently about halfway through... Let's see, where's the index? About three-fourths of the way through book four. So I'm very close to finishing up part two of the series. I'm listening to it on audiobook as well, so I have about one hour four minutes of it left i have been having so so much fun i'm having so much fun with it when i gave like my first ever update about this i was like i will finish it up by thursday i was very overly optimistic about it and i was like reaching very high ambitions but turns out it's a lot to get through and i'm honestly glad that i'm going through this as slowly as i can because 
the world is just so rich it is just so vivid it, i'm not even trying to get into like the details into the foreshadowing into the clues and whatnot because i know i'm gonna come back to the story many 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 times and every single time that i read it i'm gonna catch a few more things here and there and that's just gonna make every single reading experience for it very very memorable if you guys don't know what the story of the lord of the rings is let me give you guys like a brief rundown of everything that is going on in this world the middle earth there are rings of power so there are nine rings given to humans three rings given seven rings given to dwarves three rings given to elves and one ring to rule them all the main ring of it the main master ring was created by sauron who is like the main villain of the entire story he was banished from the middle earth he was destroyed many 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 years ago like thousands of years ago and at the time of the story it's been many many years even since the hobbit where bilbo first picks up the ring from Gollum, and now he's passed it on to frodo and at the same time sauron is now coming back he has come back from the dead he's resurrected his servants and stuff like that and now he's on the search for the ring because once he gets the ring he'll be able to control everybody so gandalf who is like the main wizard he's like the main support and the main source of information and the supporting stone of Frodo who is the main character of the series obviously Frodo his uh, his servant Samwise his two friends Merry and Pippin then Gandalf and three more other people uh, Aragorn Boromir and Dwarf and Legolas I forgot forgot about him so all of these people comprise this fellowship comprising of dwarves of elves of men of wizards and of hobbits are on a quest to go to Mordor which is Sauron's own kingdom and to cast the ring down into this big mountain of doom where like this fire is inside so it's essentially a volcano and only that volcano can break the ring and break the power of the rings it is Frodo's destiny to go and cast it down and a lot of stuff has happened after that and that is like the entire story I don't really want to go into the details of it because if I get down to it I for myself won't be able to get everything out right now and this video will be like five fucking hours long because oh my god this book is it's a journey it's a journey there's a lot of walking involved as Jack Edwards says the first book everybody's together so we are following this linear perspective where we just follow the story it is narrated from like a third person narrator who is just telling the story to us and the second part is where the switch up happens there's gonna be like a mild spoiler so if you're not interested then please skip ahead or just go out of this video honestly because even though i'm not giving you guys full spoilers i still will talk a little bit just to keep in context and if you don't want to know anything about the book because you're planning to read it towards the end of the first book fellowship of the ring sam and frodo split up from the fellowship and they set off on their own path and then the part two the two towers the first the book three begins with the perspective from the rest of the company who is left behind and he followed their adventures and book four we follow the story of frodo and sam book three was very interesting because there's a lot that happens there are there are like these big wars there's amazing amazing new supporting characters and types of people over here and then once book four started you get to really know frodo and the sam and their journey together you also get introduced to Gollum once again i have just been having so 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 much fun reading this book or more so like listening to this book because i cannot read a single page without the audiobook because the narration is just so good the narration of this book is so good like when there, there are war chants happening or when someone is screaming to someone there's just so much like texture to the audiobook that it is just so fun to listen to like i could keep this aside not touch it and just listen to the audiobook and i'll still be able to follow everybody and every storyline that's going on i will also still be able to understand and enjoy the book a lot it is sunday and it is february 25th so we have four days left in february and i think so once i'm done with the two towers I, i'm gonna take a little break from this because a i don't want this to end i want to keep this going for as long as possible and b i have other books to read other videos to film so i am going to take a little break for four four days i still try to read a little bit here and there but i'm in no mood and i'm in no need to hurry up and finish this book because 
I want it to last long. It's like one of the best reading experiences I'm having in my entire life. So, so well done. I'm not even getting into like the deeper allegories, the foreshadowing, the clues and the social and political commentary you can pick up from this book. Right now in this read, I am completely enthralled and I'm completely taken over by the story and the fantasy of it. Also, there are these editions online, like I'll put up the covers over here. I am obsessed with these covers and if there is someone out there who wants to give them to me, my DMs are open. Anyways, yeah, that is like my update I have for you. It is about an hour and a half later. I finished the book too. I, I honestly completely forgot how good this story is. When I gave you guys the update about it, you know, I was very cheerful and I was very happy. But actually, I was getting kind of bored because... I I've seen I've seen the movies. I saw the movies last year and I remember the movies being really good because they were just completely very very high thrill high stakes and towards this point I was like like the point which I gave you up the update when just for context like they were passing the stairs of Kirit Ungol so at that point I was like I don't think so there's much of story left and how do we have an entire book left to go and so I was getting like very bored and I was kind of starting to feel whether it's gonna drag out in the third book but but then so many things happened which I, I, I which I've seen in the movie and I was like wait I completely forgot that this happens and now I love this book even more. We are now at the final stretch of things and I just can't wait for Thursday to come soon so that I can get to it very very quickly because and I, I'm, I'm just like in love with it. Like the first book was a 5 out of 5 star. This was also a 5 out of 5 star. Like the whole series is a 5 out of 5 star. I can already see myself reading this at least once a year because it's just that good. I'm just so glad that I gave in to my impulse and I started this because this has been like one of the most memorable reading weeks of my entire life. I recently posted that ASMR book cart organizing reel and I got like a bunch of comments which said, how come do you have so much quietness in your house? It's not possible in a house. I'm like, I make people sit quiet. Like otherwise, you hear this? No worry guys, I also suffer with the same issues as you guys, but hi babies, what is up? I'm, I've decided that I'm gonna start calling you, you guys my babies. I went into my YouTube statistics and like 54% of the audience is in the range of 18 to 24, like 85% of them is girls. So you guys are like my babies. So yeah, I'm gonna start calling you babies, but yeah. Let, Let's not digress too much. I told you guys that I was gonna see you on March 1st to start off with the third book, but I, for my life, could not read anything else. Finished the second book on Sunday, and today is Thursday, so today is 29th February, which is literally one day before March 1st. But I, for my life, could not get through a book on Monday and Tuesday. I was still so, so, so stuck in the Middle Earth world, and I just wanted to be there and go through the entire stories. I don't know why the wind came off all of a sudden, and I'm worried that this camera is gonna fall. I yesterday decided that I just don't wanna go through that same ordeal once again. I was listening to Hercule Poirot's Silent Night, which, uh, which is a Sophie Hanna, Agatha Christie mystery. And I was uh, about like 40% in at that point, which is so, so, so stupid. Like two days to get through 40% of an Agatha Christie book, just unbearable for me. So I decided that I'm just gonna power through this book and I'm gonna get to this because I just knew that I was not gonna be able to read anything for the rest of the time till I get back to this so why not just get back to it sooner so yesterday when I finished Hercule Poirot's Silent Night I finished it let's like I don't really know exact the exact time I've let's just say I finished it at like 
4.44 p.m. I started listening to The Return of the King on at 4.46 p.m. Just not even like an entire five minutes passed. I am currently in Siege of Gondor. I'm using mostly audiobook because I was listening to it as I went to and from my class. I'm currently on page 827. The book starts at page 747 and I'm currently on page 827. So that's like about 80 pages. I've read 80 pages since yesterday and I'm already making so much more progress on this because I am just completely sucked into this book. In the audiobook, I have I have about 8 hours 22 minutes left and I intend to finish it today because I for my life cannot let a book go on the last day of the month. You know, today's February 29th and it will be such a great feeling to have if I finish the book today. So I'm gonna finish it today. It has is rookie numbers for me. I'm not gonna read the appendices. So anyway, that's gonna fly by very, very quickly. So in the book, I am currently on the Siege of Gondor. Part three is also following the same structure as part two, where in the first part of the two towers was we following the rest of the company like Gandalf, Aragorn, and uh, Pippin and Merry and Gimli and Legolas and everybody else and part two was us following Sam and Frodo and Gollum and this is also going to take the same path. I'm currently on book five which is following just everybody and the war of Gondor, the siege of Gondor and I think for so book six we are going to follow in with Sam and Frodo, Frodo and Sam. Why am I saying Sam and Frodo? I think so I like Sam a lot more than Frodo so that's why I'm taking his name first. Yeah we're gonna follow Frodo and Sam and Gollum and their journey with the ring in Mordor. I'm so excited. I was just going to sit in my bed listening to the book and maybe reading through the physical copy but instead of that I'm gonna be productive and I am going to organize my closet because it it's a mess like it is you guys see that that's a mess and i need to clean that up because my mom is she will start to hunt me after this because it's getting too out of hand okay so hi it's like a few hours later you guys are gonna have to deal with the fan noise in the background for the next few months from now on because summer is officially here and it is it is not a good time. It is so fucking hard. I finished book five and I'm on book six, chapter one. So book five, a lot of things happened. Every single time, like the other perspective starts, like with Gandalf and the rest of the people, I think to myself that, oh, it's going to be a bit boring. Maybe I'll be bored with this side of the story. I want to focus a lot more on Frodo and Sam. But towards the end, I am so fucking invested and never for one moment I'm like oh this was boring or like oh this is like too much information but everything is done in such an amazing way everything is done such so perfectly like this is what reading the most perfect fantasy book ever feels like I am having so much fun like all of the characters are very 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 investment worthy like you attach yourself to each character and each character brings out a lot of emotion in you and that is all you can ask for like from a for, from any book i am so excited for frodo and sam and Gollum's story now and i want to see how the book ends i don't remember the movie so well so yeah i think so i have i have four hours 36 minutes left in the book right now and literally like there are just nine chapters in book six and the rest of it is just all of the appendix and whatnot i'm not I'm not reading appendices this time and I just don't care about it right now. Maybe in future rereads for more context and more information, I will read it in the future, but not right now. So I just got to the climax and I finished the climax and I honestly, I came a little close to tearing up because, oh my God, I just love Sam and Frodo so much. I love Sam a lot more because he's just like one of the most purest characters ever written. Frodo is Frodo. Obviously I love him as well but Samwise Gamgee. Oh my god. I fucking I love him so much. I have just like two chapters left in the book. I'll get back to you with like the final review very soon.
Okay, it's exactly a week later and I just now realized because I'm about to start editing the video that I forgot to vlog. I forgot to vlog my final thoughts about the Lord of the Rings. Let's just say that I have absolutely no words left because it's been a week since I finished the last book and I've read two books after that but I just like can't take myself out of this so out of this story because it's just so it's just so 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 good like like I found like a new favorite story of mine can't wait to read the rest of J.R.R. Tolkien's like supplementary work in the Middle Earth world I know that Silmarillion then there is the fall of Numenor and there's just like a lot of things there's even like the entire appendix I have not read the appendix right now because I just don't have the energy to read it. I feel like this is one of the best fantasy books that is ever written. It's just so vivid. It's so, so enthralling. It's so adventurous, so full of adrenaline. There's never a single moment of peace, but you don't get tired of it. You don't get bored of it. It's just so well done. J.R.R. Tolkien himself has written the introduction and he says that there are no allegorical meanings or there's just like nothing drawn or from the world war one because that is the time when this was written there is still a lot of allegorical references and you can like clearly see like oh this is so 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 similar to what happened in the world war and i just can't wait to come back to this in the future hopefully in the near future not near future please i don't want to read this this year again because i have other books to read i just can't wait to come back to the story with my tabs with my pencil and just study this book honestly study this book because there is just so much in here the songs are so amazing there's just so much foreshadowing so much so many references hidden easter eggs so many great lines and just so much there's just so much in this book that it is impossible to catch it within in like the first read so good it's like proper pure fantasy that is a little like a sprinkle of romance that is only about one character there's nothing else i still can't find proper thoughts and coherent thoughts about this book because it is impossible to make like a final review about this book i just know that i love it and i'm obsessed with it and i am going to read it many 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 times in the future let's just fucking take some time to talk about the audiobook the audiobooks which i've written were narrated by andy circus what a performance what a performance like that's the only way i can describe it it's not a narration it's a performance and it was done so 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 well there are times where for example let's talk about when gandalf is shouting at theoden who is the king of rohan in the third book no i think so it's second book yeah in the second book and when that is happening he like shouts it out so that he is removed from saruman's spell and if I was reading the book, I would have not shouted the way Andy Serkis shouted in my ears. And I genuinely got scared. Oh my god, I got so scared. The third book when things were coming to a head and like the main Nazgul, I don't remember his name. He was uh, when Eowyn King kills him. Like the tense moments, the way the narration builds up. I was, I got like goosebumps. I just fucking love each and every single character in this. and. The way every character had a different accent and just even while you're listening, you could make out who is speaking. Like even the four hobbits, they're little hobbits and they're supposed to have like the same character. But Merry had a different, Pippin had a different, Sam and Frodo had a different character, different accents. And I just like, I'm absolutely obsessed with the narration of it. And it is just so, so, so well done. I'm absolutely like stumped. Like I don't have a proper book blogger critical thoughts about this book because I am a complete fanboy and I just absolutely love this story and I will recommend it to anyone who loves pure fantasy and I now want to read like proper pure high fantasy once again and I want you guys to give me recommendation it should not be a romanticy nothing of that sort and I don't want no modern romanticy please I don't want it I'm sick and tired of it I love like reading romance plot subplots sub keyword subplots in fantasy books but when it takes over it's just not for me like after fourth wing it's just like solidified in stone that I hate romanticy 
it's not a question of hate actually it's a question of there's just so much potential in the plot in the world and in the characters but it is so focused on romance that it just like is why did you craft such a big plot then you know like the same plot could have been worked on actual humans and stuff having to create like an entire fantasy world developing magic systems and stuff only for it to get shadowed by the romance yeah so if you have any recommendations for books like this or books like harry potter where there is a bit of romance but it's not overpowering or even percy jackson so just let me know in the comments which books you think would be similar to that. I know there are as many supplementary works in this sea, in this Middle Earth world. I am going to get to them slowly one at a time because I don't want to exhaust myself out of the Middle Earth. And I don't, I want to have that new experience for a prolonged amount of time. Right now looking at my shelf, I think so Aragon is a possible contender. It's a children's fantasy book where there are dragons and stuff. So I doubt that it's going to be that, that much romance in it. So Aragon is one. I think so Scythe is also supposed to be something like that. And other than that, I don't really have anything else because, oh, The Poppy War by RF Punk could also be a possible contender in this niche. The rest of them have heavy romance plots in them so i don't think so i'll be interested in that that much i have absolutely no idea how this vlog has been so far because i have not sat down and went through the footage yet so just excuse me if it was bad thank you so much guys for sticking around and if you like this vlog if you like this series give it a big thumbs up comment down below if you have read this or if i have convinced you guys to read it because if i have not convinced you please let me know so that i can talk more about it and convince you guys because you have to read this i will leave a link to this edition of the series in the description so if you are interested do check it out i will see you guys very very soon bye